Hey gang, so this is Sling Player 2.0. One of the first things you'll notice is we've gotten rid of the box around the remote. It's a simple little thing, but it, uh, it's a little nicer looking, a little more uh, sophisticated. Up top here, you'll notice an email address. This one happens to be cesbooth at slingmedia.com. Uh, however, it will be your email address. We now have what are called Sling Accounts. Uh, this should be available within a month or so. And all your Finder IDs and all your favorites will be stored on your Sling account. So no matter where you install Sling Player, all your Finder IDs and all your favorites will travel with you. One of the new features of the Sling Player 2.0, based on community feedback, is our EPG. When you set up your sling box, you're going to tell it what zip code you're in and who your television provider is. And then you can scroll through your channel listing and all the shows that are on. I'll also show you that instead of favorite channel buttons, you now have favorite channel listings. For example, I made one called HD stations. It's not a real list of HD stations, but it could be. Or if you live with two people, one could be your list, one could be a list for your spouse of the different television channels you watch. So that's the EPG. Over in the bottom, you'll notice things are a little different, including a big old pause button. Again, another common request. Now you have it. Pause, play, pause, play. What's even cooler than that, you're also going to get a 60 minute buffer so you can rewind and fast forward within that buffer. When you change channels, the buffer will start from scratch. And one of the reasons we have that buffer is because you can now clip content like that dunk we just saw. Let's say you want to share it with your friends. You hit the clip button. The little scissors will appear down here. You click on it. And now you have some video editing controls. You can drag your start point. You can drag your end point to wherever you want it. You hit next. And now with this button up here, you can choose the thumbnail image you want to represent the picture. Let's see if we can find a dunk. Uh, can we get it? I think that was a jump shot. We'll leave it there. We'll hit next. And then over in this window, we're going to give the clip a title, so I'll call it Big Dunk. You give it some tags, let's say NBA, Basketball, Dunk. Additionally, you can type in a description, hit Save Clip. You put in your email uh, recipients, your friends and family, whoever you want to share this clip with, and you can add a custom message to go with that. <clears throat> you go ahead and hit Send, and in a moment it will appear in this window of your clips, Big Dunk. It says right there, preparing clip. It will begin uploading it to our servers. It will transcode it on our servers, and then it will be displayed on the web to share with your friends. And we'll go ahead and click on one that already exists while well, this one is uh, being encoded. And we'll bring up a web browser, and this is our new video destination website, sling.com. And the clip will load up in here. As you can see, all the information you ended, entered, such as the title, the tags, the description are here. You can rate the clip in terms of quality. If we scroll down a little, you can add some comments in here. And of course, the video you just clipped will be playing in this window, and all your friends and family can check it out. You can scroll around through it, play, pause, all the typical transport controls you'd expect. So that's the Sling Player 2.0, coming very soon, Q1 2008, for PC. Are we having fun yet?